people ask me how did you ever get interested in the pyramids of egypt and how did you ever stumble into this secret and mysterious knowledge which brought you to these remarkable conclusions boy what a question it hardly seems that I've circled the Sun 61 times when it feels like I'm just now waking up 61 solar cycles or as humans say 61 years old time flies but the memories are still vivid it was some 40 years ago I can remember it very clearly I was 22, a landmark time that changed the entire direction of my life. That's when it began. I was attempting to secure a position on the San Francisco 49ers when it suddenly all came to a catastrophic end with a serious knee injury. I remember the year passing slowly, but I wasn't ready to give up on my dream of playing in the NFL. I decided I'd take another shot. The night before, when I was to leave for training camp, is the very point where it all began. I was asleep at my girlfriend's mother's house when suddenly there came a remarkable dream. In the dream, there was a woman about 55 years old with striking platinum blonde hair who was looking down at me. I didn't recognize her, but she had a very concerned look on her face and she was telling me I had been seriously injured and had been in the hospital for 10 days. Then the dream faded away and I awoke. I left for training camp that day and then four months passed by and I awoke in a hospital with a woman in my room and it was the same woman that I had seen in the dream four months previously and I'd been in the hospital for 10 days. I had been seriously injured in a football game and had to have surgery on my shoulder. It was the end of my career. But what had I stumbled into four months earlier at my girlfriend's house? That whole experience redirected the course of my entire life and was the beginning of my spiritual journey. What was the meaning of this intrusion? What had overtaken me? I had no idea. But it seemed as though I had somehow tapped into another dimension or had tapped into me. As a young man, it had not yet dawned on me that there could exist a dimension beyond the physical, material realm. But this precognitive dream, which intercepted my attention and then morphed into reality, shattered all my categories and presuppositions. I had to know more. While it has taken many years, I have come to understand that mankind has been sentenced to an island prison in the Milky Way galaxy to a planet called Earth where his mental capacity has been dulled into a spiritual amnesia failing to comprehend that the human race has been judged and sentenced to a solitary confinement locked up and shackled with restricted mental capacities and bound in powerful emotional chains. It doesn't matter whether in extravagant or humble circumstances, mankind wanders without the slightest realization that he is cut off from existent life forms in the vast reaches of the infinite universe. From my own personal prison, in a precognitive dream state, I was permitted to view another dimension. <laughs>